think of it all the time. I'm sorry to believe it's been 55 years. Maybe the best game of the tournament. The full weight of it wasn't felt until years later. I don't think there's any doubt that it had an impact on integration in Mississippi. The game of change. The Loyola Mississippi State game made a difference. It affected America. It was the game of my life. In 1963, Loyola won our first 21 games. We knew we were good, and we expected to win when we went out there. Harkness goes up, drives the baseline, jumps from six out, and is up, rolling around, and good! Loyola scores! I mean, everybody knew they had a great basketball team, but what, what the people in Mississippi focused on is they, they started four African Americans. The general rule was that you could start two black players on the road. You can maybe start three at home, but you weren't ever supposed to play four black starters, and that's what Loyola did. We were right in the middle of a civil rights movement. The government gave you a decision. What do you want to do? I'm not going to integrate. It was a time of turbulence, and it was a time of tremendous change. There were black students at a lot of major universities, but there were no blacks in the South playing basketball at, at white schools. So over half of the country was segregated. Black and white relations in Mississippi was pretty much what they had been for 100 years or more. I think the people of Mississippi all know that I am a strong believer in segregation in all of our schools. Ross Barnett had been elected governor on the platform that he would maintain segregation at all costs. No white player of Mississippi would ever play against a team on which there were black players. The 63 team was 24 and one in the regular season. But in two of the three previous seasons, Mississippi State won the Southeastern Conference Championship. And with that came a bid to the NCAA tournament. But both times, they had to turn it down. Because of the color of somebody's skin, you weren't allowed to compete with them. It just made you sick to your stomach, you know. We wanted to play ball. I mean, that's what the game was all about. It had nothing to do about skin color. We played basketball, and that's what we wanted to do with Loyola. You want to know how good you are compared to other people, you know? And the only way to do that is play them. In 1963, the team voted unanimously to go play. And Babe McCarthy, the coach, he wanted to go play because, by God, he thought he was going to win. All of a sudden, the day before we are supposed to leave, we found out that we may not be able to go play, that we could possibly be arrested. The legislature made an ultimatum. You will not go to play. We're going to force you legally not to play. Governor Barnett was a staunch, staunch segregationist. And his injunction was supposed to be served on the president of Mississippi State, the athletic director, and the uh, head basketball coach. They got word of it, and they disappeared. We decided to split the team into six. So if they were going to serve the injunction, they could only serve the injunction to one of the two. They sent the reserves and the managers on the first vehicle going to the airport. And that was in case they got stopped. And the starters and the main reserves were on a second bus. And when they got the all clear, the second bus followed. Loyola players will tell you, they didn't know if Mississippi State was going to show up. But we knew that six of them were. <laughs> when we took the floor and they took the floor, you know, it was, it was just unbelievable. Of course, you don't win a championship for winning a second round of game. But deep down, I, I wanted to beat them really, really bad, because I don't know, I, 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 I pictured them as bad guys because they were from Mississippi. The handshake between the two team captains was totally unbelievable. 
It was a monumental thing to see an African-American and a white kid shake hands because of the, the adversity that I'm gonna say that the state of Mississippi brought on themselves. I mean, it just ran chills up and down our spine. It's known as a handshake. I went to the circle and I went to shake his hand and I smiled. He didn't smile, but you could tell that he was glad to be there. He wanted to be part of history. He wanted the opportunity to play against the best. If you, if you didn't know the back story, if you didn't know that a Mississippi team had never competed against an, uh, an integrated team, then the picture wouldn't seem that significant. But uh, if you knew the backstory, it's, it's just an incredible moment, not only in Mississippi history, but in American history. We lost the game, but in a way, we had won. You know, we, we lost the game, but we won. We won the battle. Well, Loyola turned out they were the best team in the country. We won, we won, we won the ball game. They won the national championship. We won the ball game. To lose to the national champions, that even was uh, more special to us, if I could say it that way. It was a big deal. Capital letters, B-I-G. It was more than just a victory. It was a statement that the sport was changing and that blacks were the catalyst for that change. We were right there in 63. But the fight for racial equality continues. That's why it still matters. <laughs>